Hi again everyone and welcome to Gall Hacks. I'm Jeff Schantz and in this hack we're going to look at customizing the prompt and how we can make it not only look a little nicer but make it more useful as well. So let's get to it. As you can see, the default prompt on Gall shows us the host to which we're currently connected, in this case Obelix, and then a sequence number that identifies the command we're about to enter. Now this sequence number can be handy at times for repeating commands and we'll cover that in a future hack, but for now let's make our prompt a little more useful to us. The prompt is controlled by a variable called, shockingly, prompt. If we type set, we can see all the variables that are currently set for us in our shell. So here you can see that we have a prompt variable that's set to obelix, and then in square brackets we have this percent exclamation mark, which gives us this sequence number that we just talked about. Now since the prompt is simply controlled by this variable, we can change it by saying, for example, set prompt equals hello. And now you can see that my prompt displays hello to indicate to me that I should enter a command. I can also enter special codes called format sequence codes to make my prompt more dynamic. For example, if I want to display the name of the machine to which I'm currently connected, I can use percent %m. So we'll type set prompt equals percent %m and let's maybe add a prompt character in there in a space. And now you can see that it displays the machine name Obelix to which I'm currently connected. Let's take a look at some of the other format sequence codes that we've got available to us. Now first off, I'll post a link to this information on the Gall Hacks site, so don't worry about memorizing any of this. You can also find all of this information in the TCSH man page. So as you can see here, we've got sequence codes for displaying the current directory that we're in, uh, the current history event number, so we saw that before in the default Obelix prompt. That was entered as percent exclamation mark, but that's the same thing as percent %h. We can also display our current username and the name of the machine to which we're currently connected. We've also got sequence codes that will insert the current time into the prompt, as well as codes for inserting various date-related information. Now in addition to these codes that add content to our prompt, we also have codes that control the formatting of the prompt. So for example, we can make parts of our prompt stand out by surrounding them with these percent %s symbols. This would take text that is normally white on black and invert it so that it's black on white. Similarly, we can bold or underline our text with these other format codes percent %b and percent %u. So for example, if we wanted to bold our prompt text, we would start bolding with percent capital B and we would end bolding with percent lowercase b. Finally, anytime we want to change terminal attributes such as the color of our text, we have to make these changes within these percent braces. This essentially tells the shell that we don't want to display the string that's within the curly braces, but instead we want to change some attribute at the terminal, again, like the color. And we'll take a look at that in a few minutes. For now, let's try using a few of the format sequence codes that we've seen here. A common prompt on many systems is in the form user at host, colon, and then the current directory, followed by some prompt character. So let's try and model our prompt after that format. We'll begin by typing set prompt equals and then percent %n to give us our username followed by an at symbol to separate things and then percent %m to give us our machine name. Again we'll separate things with a colon and then we'll use percent %tilde to give us our current directory. And maybe we'll add a prompt character in there followed by a space. Now maybe we also want to bold our machine name so before the percent %m I'm going to enter percent capital B to start bolding and then after the percent %m I'll add percent lowercase b to end bolding. Pressing enter, we see that the prompt now gives us some useful information. So for example, if I enter another directory, the prompt is automatically updated so that it always tells me where I currently am in the file system. And this way I don't have to continually issue the pwd command every time I need to find out where I am. Now notice the tilde in the prompt. This is short for our home directory, so this tells me that I'm in the hacks subdirectory, which is located in my home directory. So, this is a good start, but it's a bit of a long prompt. On systems where we might be switching between various user accounts, such as between a regular account and a root account, it's often helpful to display the current username in the prompt. However, since we're only ever going to use one account on Gaul, let's get rid of that username by taking out the percent %n sequence code. So I'm going to press up a couple times until I get back to my set prompt, and I'm going to take out this percent %n at, and there, that looks a little better, it's a little bit shorter for us. 
So this prompt is certainly more useful than the default prompt on Gaul, but let's make it look a little nicer with some color. I mentioned earlier that to change a terminal attribute such as color, we have to use these percent curly braces. So our color values are going to go within these percent curly braces, and then within them we're entering what's called an ANSI color code. So an ANSI code starts off with this special sequence backslash 033 followed by an open bracket. And then next you enter a color value. So that's just going to be a number, and we'll see a list of those numbers in a moment. So if we want to enter both a foreground and background color, we would separate them with a semicolon. And then finally the ANSI color code ends with this letter M. So for example, if I want to change the color of my prompt text to blue, I'm going to start off by putting things in these curly braces, and then I'm going to start off my ANSI color code with the backslash 033 followed by the open bracket. And then I know that the color value for blue is 34, so I would enter 34 and finish things off with M. Similarly, if I wanted a red foreground and a white background, I would do the exact same thing here, except that I would separate these color values with a semicolon. So the foreground comes first, 31 is red, and the background comes next, and 37 is white. Alright, let's take a look at what color values we've got available to us. So, as you can see here, we've got eight color possibilities for our text, and eight possibilities for the background for a total of 64 color combinations. We also have a color value of 0, which is used to reset the color back to its normal color. Finally, if we wanted to make our prompt flash for some reason, we could use a color value of 5. Now, let's make our prompt look a little nicer with some color. Let's say that I want the machine name in the prompt to be blue, and the current directory to be green. So looking at the color values in the list here, I see that blue is color value 34, and green is color value 32, so we'll just keep those in mind for a few moments. Now, getting back to our prompt, let's make some changes here to add these colors. So I'm going to press up until I get my set prompt statement, and I'm just going to add in some spaces here just to separate things a bit temporarily to make things a bit clearer. So we said that we wanted our machine name, this percent %m here, to be in blue. So I'm going to start off by saying percent open curly brace backslash 033 followed by an open bracket, and the color value for blue was 34 and then we put in the M followed by the percent closing curly brace. And then we're going to do the same thing for the current directory except we're going to make it green. So this is our current directory symbol and so I'm going to say percent open curly brace backslash 033 followed by the open bracket and the color value for green was 32 and we'll close it off with M percent closing curly brace. Alright so I'm going to get rid of these extra spaces that I added in here to make things a little bit clearer. and then we'll press enter and we can see now that we've got this nice shiny prompt but watch what happens when I enter LS you can see here that my entire terminal stays green because that's the last color that we set in the prompt so it's always a good idea to reset the text color back to the default color at the end of our prompt and we do that with a color value of zero so I'm gonna press up a couple times to get back to my prompt and then at the end of the prompt before the space here I'm just going to enter another color, color value backslash 033 open bracket and I'll put in 0M to reset the text back to the default color. Pressing enter and we'll type LS and you can now see that while my prompt is colored the rest of my terminal remains the default color. Alright the last thing we need to do is ensure that our prompt is set automatically for us every time we log in. So to do this I'm gonna add that set statement to the hacksrc file that we created in hack0. So I'm gonna go into my home directory here and I'm going to grab this prompt and I'll just right click on it and copy it and then I'm going to type vim.hacksrc and at the bottom of my file I'm going to press O to enter insert mode on the next line and then I'll just, just paste that set statement right into the file and I'm going to exit insert mode by pressing escape and finally save and quit by pressing colon WQ now whenever I log in, my prompt will be automatically set up for me. So, that's it for this hack. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.